gentlemen, your next bout of the evening is for the Maverick Women's Amateur Strawweight Championship. First, fighting out of the blue corner, she stands five feet four inches tall and weighed in at 114.4 pounds. Fighting out of Carlson Gracie and hailing from Cincinnati, Ohio, Kelsey Hilda. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet two inches tall, fighting out of Lehigh Valley pound for pound and finishers, and hailing from Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, your reigning and defending Maverick Strawweight Women's Champion, Johnny Rosario. Big pop for the champ. Looks like they're gonna touch gloves here for this three-round championship advanced amateur fight. Here we go. Johnny opens up with a big kick to the body. Yep, Rosario coming forward as she always does. Not afraid. Nope, took control of the, uh, the heptagon right away. Yep, looping left, followed by the straight. Just action right now. 20 you, seconds in, she's already throwing many strikes. You mentioned the heptagon. How many times do you see a seven-sided cage it's in actually, MMA? Yeah, it's actually the only seven-sided cage in mixed martial arts. I just learned that. And we learned the other day, John Bones Jones, former UFC champion, fought in this cage. Not for Maverick, obviously, but previously this cage was with another promotion, and John, John Jones fought in this cage. So a lot of history here. What happened there? We have a high, high kick. We're Eagle making kick. history as well. I didn't see. I didn't see what he was. Uh, he was mentioning there. Hildal kind of on the, the moving forward here, but Rosario's keeping her in check with some strikes. Hildal's got to open up a little bit, find her range, and, and start delivering blows. And you can tell Hildal wants to come forward. She's trying to come forward, but uh, Johnny's doing a real good job of uh, putting her on that back leg. Yeah, she's starting to press forward at Yanni. Yep. Oh, well, good Rosario gets cracked. Big takedown by Hildahl. Yanni comes out the back door. Yeah, Johnny actually slipped all of those punches barely. None of those connected. Um, and that was that was really good movement by by Rosario as Hildahl came on the offensive. And but honestly, good action by Hildahl to to, to kind of scare not scare Rosario emotionally, but make her respect that Hildahl's here to fight. Big right hand there from Johnny. Yeah. Just over a minute left here in the first round of this championship fight. I think a big plan for Johnny was coming in here throwing those body kicks. She's landed about five of them already here in this first round. Yep, and they add up. I like these looping lefts that Rosario I was, just about was using. To say, yep. Yeah, to set up the straight. They ha it hasn't landed to perfection yet, but it's still doing a, a really good job to keep Hildahl backing up. Now Hildahl on the offensive, landing some shots. What a fun fight this is. These yeah. ladies are throwing it. Yeah, they're banging they right banging. now. Johnny's doing a really good job avoiding the worst of it. And we have the best oh, she takes it back. Uh oh. She's got Johnny's that in deep right now. Johnny's in really deep. Hildahl going for the rear naked. Johnny doing everything she can to make oh, space. Oh, saved by the bell. Woo!
in this championship fight between two game fighters. No gloves touching right now. Not after that first round. Hill dog going for like an outside trip. Johnny fending her off against the cage right now, but Hill dog doing a good job keeping her distance. And each fighter has success when they're banging forward. When they're moving forward, they have success. Yeah. They're right in front of us now. Rosario, they're back up against the cage. Rosario got the wizard in. She needs to square her hips. Hidal is a very game challenger here for this title. Yeah, this is the this is the hardest fight that uh, Johnny's had, you know, against the most experienced opponent that she's had. So this is going to be huge for her to learn from. But she's in there, you know. This is I don't even know how to score this fight right now. It's it's pretty even. No takedowns, all strikes back and forth. You could say that Hildal might have took the first, being in advantage position. Going yeah. for the choke at the end. It's a good thing we're not judges. <laughs> right. We could be wrong. Instead, we're just the world's most handsomest MMA commentary team. Oh. Johnny oh, Rosario unloading. Yeah, Rosario. She oh. in unanswered. Scramble Very here has Hildahl ending up on top in half guard. And Hildahl was getting clipped there. That was a great scramble to, to come in on the top position here. Rosario trying to make some space. She's got her feet up on her hips. She's got to push away. Yeah, Rosario's doing the right thing right now. Using the strength of her legs to keep the hips away. Oh, Good she punch cracks from her. the bottom there. That was mean and I love it. Just Hidal a punch in the yeah. face. Hadal gave her like a, a death stare. Yeah. Rosario <laughs> punching up from the bottom. Our Maverick champion here. 30 seconds left and Johnny still has plenty in the tank and Hildal's not going anywhere. Ten seconds left in this round. It's going to be about who wants it. Rosario with a lethal combo there, just glances off. You know, like, Johnny has really crisp striking. It's very good, and... You know, the more confidence that she gets in her power and her distance. Yeah, and she's very smart. Like you were saying before, throwing those looping punches to set up those straights. Yeah, and even just now, she used a jab to keep Hildahl's head back so she couldn't come in for a shot. Good movement here by both ladies. 
Oh. Johnny with the fake step in, could have been a flying knee, ends up hitting her with the one, two. I mean, she's so creative. Slips out of the way of that right, but takes a body oh, kick. Look at that. Flying knee. Good sportsmanship here from that slip. Woo, nice underside blade there. Look at Hildal's eyes, how she's just staring at Johnny Rosario. Yeah, she's locked in, focused. Yeah, that's scary. You know, a lot of times fighters look at, look at the center line of their opponent so they can see everything. Looking straight into someone's eyes is definitely crazy. <laughs> Johnny Caesar's just looking right back. They're not scared that, you know, I'm very impressed by these women. Battle tested. And it's all Rosario right now on the offense. Hildal might be waiting for the, the right moment to strike. One minute left in the final round. This women's championship fight, Maverick MMA, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. It, this is a tough one. This is, you know, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm glad we're not judges on this one. Yeah, Johnny definitely had more offensive points scored in this round so far, but was with 30 seconds left, and Hildahl on, on the offensive. Yeah, takedown would have been big there. Hildahl looking to throw some good punches here with leverage. Johnny knows it, setting up defensively. 10 seconds left here in the round. I don't know where it's going to go, but I think that Rosario did enough offensively on the feet. Where it goes, nobody knows. Great fight. Very entertaining. Three more exciting rounds, and we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge number one scores the fight 29-28. Judge number two scores the fight 29-28. And judge number three scores the fight 30-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and still, Maverick Women's Strawweight Champion, Johnny Rosario. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Johnny Rosario. Johnny, returning to the cage, going 4-0, still undefeated Maverick champion. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel like I could have definitely done a little better, but throughout this camp, um, I had a few injuries where I couldn't train as I wanted to, but that was a tough girl out there. So um, I feel good. I'm glad that I got the win after this fight. I probably won't be in for like two to four months working on some things, getting better, getting ready to make that step to pro eventually, maybe in the next two, 
however my coaches feel in the next few fights. So I feel great that I was able to get the W. Yeah, awesome. You were in some deep water there at the end of the first round. She had the choke in deep, and you were all business. You kept your composure. Tell us what it was like when you knew that you, that, that choke was under the chin, but you kept it, kept it intact. I just kept hearing people yelling the time, so shout out to the people out here that kept on calling out how many minutes I had. So I was able to just keep it going until the, the bell went, but that choke was really, it was really tight. But like I said, if I had a little bit of more conditioning and work as I should have, I could have probably done better here tonight. Well, you did enough to retain your title. We're looking forward to having you back in the cage and having your pro debut soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Rosario!